I love a good Disney game now and then, like the Lion King, Jungle Book, World of Illusion. And 3D games aren't too bad either. I thought I'd try a Dalmatians game. This one, Dalmatians 3. Hang on a minute. Wasn't the 101 and 102 Dalmatians? Well, it's not even a licensed Disney game. Phoenix. Oh, I've heard bad shit about these. Surely an unlicensed game can't be that bad. Can it? Let's have a little look. Well, that's a bad start. Look at the shitty animation. This looks like the start of something terrible. This is what you are presented with as a menu screen. The first thing I noticed is that there's no music. Even some of the shittiest games I've ever played have had menu music. So the six icons you can choose from. The top and bottom pairs are the games themselves, which I'll get into later. The one on the right is the game settings, and the one on the left is the short movie. Now don't go expecting Disney Adventures with Pongo going up against Cruella de Vil. Before we get into the cartoon, I just want to read what's on the back of the case. Our old lady loves cookies a lot, doesn't she? I don't fucking know. Let's get some from the market for her. The cookies are taken without paying. Okay. The vendors call the police and the Dalmatians are locked up. You will never come out of here, says Butch the Bulldog. No way that we will stay here, says Criminal. I've got an idea. Right, so that's supposed to be the backstory, is it? It just sounds like it's taken a paragraph out of the script, which is a load of horse shit. Fuck. Where are you going, Lucy? Don't you want to play? I do, but I'm hungry. I'll be right back. <gasps> My bowl is empty. It must have been Charlie. How mean. As if he didn't get enough to eat himself. One of these days, I'll beat him up so bad that he doesn't know who he is. Oh, yeah, I'll help you. Since when do dogs allow themselves to be tyrannized by a stupid cat? Oh, look. Charlie's had enough of this shit and brought them a real Dalmatians game. You get lost, Charlie, or something nasty will happen. Don't be like that. It was only a little joke. I brought you something to make up for it. And what may that be? Cake. An A1 doggy cake. Mmm, it looks rather tasty. Of course it's tasty. You don't need to look so skeptical. It's not poison. Just try it. <laughs> pepper, you sprinkle pepper on the cake. You, 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 you nasty tomcat, you. You. Oh, you nasty little cunt. So these little pricks go into town to do something. I'm sorry I didn't have the willpower to pay any attention to what they were actually trying to achieve. And that crow is a nosy little bastard all the way through. I can hear music. It must come from the market. You're right. Oh, I can smell the gingerbread already. And almonds and popcorn. Lucy, can we also buy some popcorn? Maybe, but let's first get the gingerbread hearts. Wow, look how many. Pino, can you read what's on that one up front? I love you. And what does that mean? Just that, I love you. That would be the right present for our old lady. Shall I get it? Stop! Stop! Give that back immediately! Huh? Thieves! Stop. Jesus Christ, get some decent audio recording equipment. Is there something not in order? These dogs here wanted to steal my gingerbread hearts. 
But that's not true. We didn't want to steal them just to look at them before we buy them. Why? Do you have any money? So that noisy bitch has got the rosas on a couple of dogs. And why are police wearing green? Most cartoons I've seen have always had the police in blue. No, not directly. We, we wanted to do a swap. Swap? You can't come up with anything better than that. There's no more to be said. They're roaming stray dogs. They should be locked away. I don't think this is any fun anymore. Let's get out of here fast. Oh, stop. There's another one. Get him, quick. Go. Yes. <laughs> Hang on a sec, Polizei? That's fucking German! Oh yeah, of course, cats and dogs have laptops and access to the internet, don't they? Oh, and what's that? Tierheim? That's German for animal shelter. Ah, two new ones. Oh well, welcome to the dog pound, Castor and Pollux. Did he say castrate your bollocks? You know what, I've had enough of this shit. The animation is crap, the dubbing is wank, the voice acting is diabolical, and the story is horseshit. Let's have a look at the actual game. Okay, so we have a game of pairs. I like playing pairs. You get a choice of three tables with 16, 24, or 32 cards. But there's no challenge here. There's no countdown timer to put you under pressure. It just counts up. And again, there's no background music going on, and the picture behind is just a shitty still image from the short film. Next up is a jumbled picture. You can choose from six pictures. Again, they are stills from the film. There are four options of difficulty, but I found the smallest one bad enough. This game is a simple puzzle. You have a choice of 24, 48 or 96 pieces. This isn't that hard as you have a picture in the corner of what it's meant to look like. But what's really annoying is you don't have the ability to use the analogue sticks to smoothly move the cursor around the screen. It's hard work using the D-pad. Lastly is the paint studio. This is just a simple task of choosing colours from a palette and filling in the gaps on some terrible pictures. I like what I did here though. So that's Dalmatians 3, an absolute steaming pile of goat shit. This isn't so bad for children I suppose, there's fun activities to keep the minds active, it just needed some light hearted music in the background and some better images. But why they put what looks like Cruella de Vil on the cover I'll never know. It's not even a proper game where there's a villain involved, it's just mini games and boring ones at that. There's plenty more of these Phoenix games out there, I doubt this will be the last one I'll ever see. Ta da.